So this is Fort Vo, another one of the maps coming to the They Shall Not Pass DLC, and last night on the CTE servers, for just a very short amount of time, DICE decided to make this available on the Operations game mode. Just one map, not two linked together, so I think they were just testing things, but a good friend of mine, Stodder, has let me use his footage of this map. So make sure you go and check out Stodder's YouTube channel and his Twitch page. Both of them are linked down below in the description. Go follow him, go subscribe to him. He is a sniping legend in the Battlefield community. So what's Fort Vo actually like then? Well, as I'm sure you can tell from this first set of gameplay, it looks like an absolute wasteland. But that's only half the story here. The map extends beyond that into the fortress itself, into a network of underground tunnels and corridors. In this gameplay, Stodder is playing as the German army and he's pushing back against the French army across all of these trenches first of all, and he actually manages to push the French army back inside Fort Vaux. He's also rocking the Lebel rifle as well. That's the brand new French bolt action rifle that's coming with this DLC. And actually, let's talk about the Lebel very quickly. There are a few people out there who've unlocked it already, Stodd being one of those, and from the chatter that I can see online, I've been on the CTE forums, and even talking about it through the in-game chat, I've come to this conclusion. The Lebel rifle trades blows with the SMLE Mark III pretty much all the way across the stats chart. It's got a slightly higher bullet velocity than the SMLE, but its reload is comparatively slower. You can only reload one bullet at a time through the top of the receiver, whereas the SMLE can reload 10 rounds via two stripper clips. The Lebel can only hold 8 rounds, whereas the SMLE can hold 10, but the Lebel has a slightly longer range sweet spot, so using that sniper variant will pay off in comparison to the SMLE's marksman variant. I'd say overall that the SMLE is still a better rifle for an aggressive scout player, with that sweet spot being a little bit closer in, so you can get those one-hit kills to the upper torso. But the Lebel offers players a good amount of firepower at medium range, and the option of a higher powered scope. Back to Fort Vo though, I'm not sure if anyone else really sees this, but it's very clear in my mind. These outside sectors that we're playing on right now are very reminiscent of the Kaiserschlacht operation, the start of the St. Quentin Scar map, where it's basically just a massive wasteland of mud and rubble. This time, however, you're fighting up a much steeper slope towards the fort, whereas on Scar, you fight up towards a windmill and then down into the village beyond. Now, I really, really like the Kaiserschlacht operation. I mean, I even set up my own custom server at the end of last year on rush with bolt action rifles with the fog on all of the time so that we could play something akin to trench warfare in Battlefield 1. Could you imagine that here? On Fort Vaux, you are literally fighting up the hills that the German soldiers fought up during World War One, pushing the French back inside that fort. I'm probably going to set up another server at some point on this map to do that. Stodd's gameplay here shows how many long lines of sight there are between each bank of trenches, each bank of pillboxes, barbed wire everywhere. Could you imagine this on bolt action only in the rain? I think that would look absolutely incredible. Now, something I didn't mention the other day in my last video, but you can see it in this gameplay, is the change to the HUD that's linked to your player health. You might have already noticed it, but DICE have cranked up the red overlay to 11 here on the CTE at the moment, and that tells you quite clearly that you are very close to dying, and you need to find cover and heal up again. In standard Battlefield 1, the effect is much more subtle, and sometimes it's actually hard to notice what health you've got without looking in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen so that you can see the true value. This change here in the CTE is to give you more of a feeling about your health without having to take your eyes off of the action, and that should lead you to dying less 
in those situations. The screen is telling you very clearly what kind of level of health you've got, and then you can make a decision based on that. You don't have to move your eyes down to the bottom right hand corner anymore to know what your health value is. Now I like this idea, but the effect is pretty heavy right now, but I guess that is the desired effect. I dropped out of multiple combat situations whilst playing on the map Swasso last night simply because the HUD was telling me you're going to die if you go into another gunfight. Let me know of your thoughts on this down in the comments today. I think it'll be good for some people, but other people might not like it as much as I do. But that's about it. I'm going to let the gameplay sort of roll out now. Stodder's live commentary is on it from his Twitch stream. That's not me talking. That's somebody else. There's still a load of good gameplay here. But let me know what you think down in the comments about this map. Is it something that you're going to be playing or is it maybe too infantry focused for you? Let me know down in the comments. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh man, the three, that 360 kill just got stolen, man. Legit, that would have been sweet as. We have secured the sector. That's it. Blow the doors up, boys. Um. And SMA lead again. SMA lead versus this gun. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Okay. Or he took a knife, somehow. <sighs> Sneakily got that guy on the right. Right now you're better off with SMLE Iron Sights than the Martini. Oh yeah. But we knew that. We know we know that the SMLE is overpowered. And it is. The final objective you wonder why no one uses any other weapon other than the uh um uh, I just no scoped and it killed someone miles away. Apparently. Oh, what gun was that? Ah, yes. Forgot about that one. Any show shot? No. No show shot. Can I get a res? No? Okay. Alright. That was a good man. I only hit that guy for 5 damage. It was pretty shy. Got really good FPS here though, now that we're inside. It's good. FPS is Gucci. Okay, so as soon as I peek down there, there's no one there. As soon as I stop looking, someone starts shooting down the hallway again. It's great. Yeah, on the back again. Come on, man. Is this gun good for playing aggressive? I would argue no. Uh, M M95 SMLE aggressive guns. This one's like a medium range. This is like this is like a Russian kind of sniper. It's not, yeah, it's not great. It's not great at close range anyway. But that's not what they're selling it. Operation Luca. <laughs> It's really confusing about where all these half of these shots go. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get counter peek. There is a guy's head there. I'm just pre-firing it. 72 damage, you see. I'm not getting any good, like good, consistent damage at range. Oh, headshot collapse. Let's go. 
Oh wait, I got like a- I don't know what I did, but I got like a triple something. It was pretty nice. This is gonna be triple class sin.